Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Thank you to those that are jumping on. Please introduce yourself and let me know where you're um, located. So I'm trying to do this and be very intent, uh, positive intent, right? In the morning, setting the tone for the day. The wake up with Wendy, I probably should start scheduling them so people can start knowing about them. Um, but I just simply wanted to jump on here. I did just do a video in my story about today's devotions with Wendy. I also have a, a personal page you can go follow um, for those devotionals. But wake up and I want to spread some positivity and some optimism. Um, awesome. Very nice. Yes. Room temp water. Just getting in water in general. That's great. Um, so just again, social media is like a dumpster fire and... I think that, again, we have to filter a lot of the information, a lot of the accounts that we're following, because many of them are becoming incredibly negative, and that's really difficult for the majority of us that are, you know, we're trying to keep a, a positive mental space, and I always just say, again, unfollow those accounts if they aren't supporting you. Hello from India. I feel so blessed that I have followers from outside of the U.S., Canada, the U.K., India. It's amazing, so thank you guys for following Today I read scripture. I did a, a, a little video on Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 through 15 about forgiveness and how important that is, right? We have to forgive because he forgave us. So no matter what anger, you know, resentment, frustration you're hanging on to for anyone in your cohort, your, you know, maybe someone on your team or even in your family, let it go um, because, you know, that's Satan and, and that's the evil one. And God doesn't want us to feel any of that, that anger, that pain, the resentment, and that has negative effects on our cardiovascular health. So don't hang on to that pain and aggression. Let it go. Forgive the person, not because they deserve it, um, but because you deserve God's love, right? And that's truly the best way to really enjoy our heavenly father he wants you to be happy he doesn't want you to be walking around grumpy and angry at the world even though yes 100 percent, i empathize with many that you know we have a lot of things going on in this world but it's nothing different than years years ago right it's just now we have social media to broadcast it all over the place so that's why i say filter what you follow and again set boundaries there's so many amazing books out there that you can learn to set healthy boundaries, not only within your family, but within your, you know, your cohort, your colleagues, um, running your business with yourself. Um, don't violate your boundaries. You know, if you're an entrepreneur and you're working all the time, you know, that's that's going to lead to burnout, right? If you don't take a break, you'll break. So this is, again, a, a series that I'm starting, Wake Up With Wendy, where we talk very briefly for five to seven minutes, maybe less, um, about just how to start our day and how to be successful and healthy. And one of the most important ways to do that is spend alone time with our heavenly father get your bible um, read for two minutes read whatever you have but just keep in mind i know myself included i feel really guilty and icky when i you know start my day off and i'm about to go check my email and then i have to catch myself and say you know what wow like god gave up his only son for my sins and i don't have five minutes to pray I don't have five minutes to read my Bible. I don't have five minutes to tune into a devotional. Wow. Okay, I've got to check myself here. And we find that, you know, the more that you get away from the Bible and doing healthy, positive things right in the right away in the morning, you start to feel anxiety. And that's Satan coming in and he's creeping in and saying, you can't do this, you're unworthy, whatever the case may be. And what I'm saying is, let's grab our Bible. Um, let's not turn on to social media, look at the news. That's a bunch of negativity. It's a dumpster fire. Let's tune into what God says. God loves you. All he wants is a relationship with you. He doesn't care how much money you make. He doesn't care how successful your business is. Um, and I always joke too with people like when they say your business is, you know, whatever. And I say, well, it's not my business. It's God's business. I work for him. So uh, I'm not self-employed. I'm employed by our heavenly father. And what's interesting is as a reformed atheist, I used to not believe in God. I'm just, you know, I find it hysterical that um, many people just, you know, they, they get really negative and they, they say things and I get it, you know, whatever. I'm not here to push Jesus or the Bible on anyone. I'm just here to share the gospel and the fact that God has saved my life and he's changed my life for the better. So if that's for you, awesome, great, glad to have you here. But if that's not for you, I understand and I would never push anything because I didn't like that when it was pushed on me. But I will say this, that God just wants to help you and he wants you to experience joy. You know, life doesn't have to be so hard. Life's too short, excuse my language, to be pissed off all the time. And that's what I was years ago. I was just grinding and I was working super hard. So once I actually found my love for God and understood that, wow, I've ignored him my entire life and yet he's still here 
helping me and, you know, blessing my family and getting us through so many ridiculous storms. Um, Pastor Jason out of Eagle Brook Church in Minnesota, my home state, um, he delivered an amazing message last Saturday, excuse me, last Sunday um, about, you know, storms and sometimes we create our own storms and we're the driver and we create them or sometimes we're the passenger and we're sitting along with someone else who's creating the storms and we don't have a choice. We're, we're sitting, we're strapped in and that's really hard, right? But the fact of the matter is, God will always get us through it if we trust him. Ask, seek, knock. Ask and it will be given to you, right? Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open for you. You know, and if we start to say, I'm only going to do it my way and I'm only going to be self-reliant, you're going to get anxious, frustrated, and spin your wheels pretty darn quick. So again, I'm just simply sharing this because I... I can't tell you where I'd be in life if God had not reached out his hand and said, take it, like, I can help you, let's do this, you're strong, you're capable, be Wendy, whatever it is. So anyone that's with us, Sue, Peter, um, anyone else that, you know, Megan, Amanda, whoever else was on the call with us earlier, God loves you, he loves all of us, he made us exactly the way we're supposed to be right now, right? And a part of this whole healthy lifestyle is being healthy, respecting your temple and saying, I don't need to be perfect. I just need to be healthy. And I even authored a blog on this. It's on my website. Go read it. Jesus isn't interested in a perfect you. He's interested in a healthy you. So go be healthy and whatever the capacity that is. So again, I find it just amazing how blessed how blessed I am that God has saved me from, from so many storms that I've been both the driver and the passenger. Um, but again, it's all glory to him. So I, I am not self-reliant. I know that there's no way I could have put in the hours and the time in building this business without him, right? It's his business. So a part of that, like I said, in the morning is I'm a real brat. If I can't spend, you know, two to five minutes with God right away in the morning, I feel pretty guilty the rest of the day. And I also feel more stressed versus if I start the day off with scripture and I say, God, Whatever is thrown at us today, I know that with you at my right, we can do it. We can do all things, and it may not be easy. It may be difficult, um, and you make it possible. You don't make it perfect. You make it possible. So I used to be, again, so self-reliant, and I just I don't want that for anyone. So if I can just help one person today be healthier in the morning, understand that they should filter the information that they're reading and what they're doing, and just start your day off with God, start your day off with a walk, water, um, that's pretty profound and amazing. So again, that's what God calls me to do. And a part of this whole uh, business and, and just honoring him with what I'm doing and integrating my faith is that, you know, I knew at 12 years old, I wanted to start my own business. I wanted to be a dietitian, health coach, whatever. I had this whole goal of, I want to be known for health and fitness. And I remember writing that down in a little journal. I still journal today. I have a zillion journals that I've kept over the years. And I'm so glad that I have because some of those journals have helped me understand that I've walked through some of the most difficult storms without any sort of resources. And yet I'm alive and God has saved me. Um, And also just to backtrack to Jason's story, or excuse me, um, Pastor Jason, who again delivered this great message on Sunday about how, you know, just weathering the storm. And he also addressed why do good things, excuse me, why do bad things happen to such good people? I think that's quite profound because a lot of us ask that same question. Um, But there was a a really amazing story about a man who had experienced severe loss, crippling loss. Um, And you should go, I'll I'll share the video, but you guys should go look at it and, and tune into it. I guarantee you will not uh, you'll, you'll cry. I feel like I ugly girl cry. I don't know if that's a thing anymore, but I was devastated for him. And I thought, wow, that's so inspiring. That's so profound. He still has a faith in God, despite all of these terrible trials and tribulations. I mean, they were not his fault. They were out of his control. And I thought, wow, a lot of us tend to lose our faith over the littlest things. And we're like, God, why would you do this? We throw our arms up at, at him and we get angry with him. But the fact of the matter is we don't know what's happening on the other side of things. We may see like, oh, we got in a car accident. This thing happened. It wasn't my fault. Now my car's ruined. Okay. Well, maybe God protected you from losing your life. Maybe God had to demolish this car or have you go through something because there was something else ahead that was going to destroy you. It was going to hurt your family. It was going to impede more storms on your life. So we never know, right, what's on the other side. Just like people, we never know what they're dealing with. So we have to be kind always. And that's a part of being a Christian is trusting and having that faith and knowing that God has my best interests at heart. And I can connect that with the dietitian, right? As an evidence-based practitioner, I have your best interests at heart. The influencers, the the celebrities selling, selling snake oil, pushing fad diets, 
all that BS, they don't have your best interests at heart. They're worried about making a profit. And I'm not saying all of them, but what I'm saying is take care of your body, take care of your health, ask questions. Don't just pay somebody money to starve you. Um, And again, at the end of our days, you know, none of this matters. You know, my business, Nutrition with Wendy, God's business, it's not like I'm taking this with me to heaven. I mean, who knows what we'll all be doing in heaven. I imagine, I've always shared this with some of my closest friends, like I imagine heaven as a long table of people, like all the families connected and we're all just enjoying a really amazing meal. Nobody's worried about disease or death or or pain or, you know, what the relative is going to say about your dating life. I just think like heaven is this most amazing place that everybody is just experiencing ultimate joy, infinite happiness, health. There's no disease. There's no diabetes. There's no obesity. Um, I I just envision that heaven is this, again, ultimate place that we're all together. We're all unified. It's not about money. It's not about monetizing things. We're all just enjoying one another and reunited with our relatives. I know for me, my grandmother is up there and she's been like a mother to me. So I just, uh, I feel very, yeah, very vulnerable with you all. And I think that it's really important that people know who's behind the screen and that my heart is always going to be in the right place. So whatever happens with my business and the years to come, I trust that God has the best interests at heart. So as I continue to traverse, uh, traverse, I should say rather, these difficult waters of all the online stuff, you know, I I tell people too that, It's not about being flashy or having all these gimmicks and and all these fancy things. I just, again, I go back to down and dirty, basic, fundamental content that works, right? Weight loss, eating for performance, all of these concepts. This is me. Um, I'm never going to have the most fancy illustrations. I'm never going to have a zillion followers and, and doing all these ridiculous things that some of these influencers are because I work for God and it doesn't matter, right? If you can't deliver results for people, but you have all these flashy things and you're you're lying to them. I mean, I can't sleep at night. If I'm not actually helping people and giving them quality content, I don't know how you sleep at night. So that's just me, but um, the basics work. So, you know, eating for energy levels, right? Balanced meals, carbohydrate paired with the protein, fruits and vegetables, eating the rainbow, drinking water. Um, I have my nutrition with Wendy water bottle back here. So I just had my Bible out again, just being vulnerable with you guys. And the fact that I started this business because I had a vision for helping people at a higher level. And I knew I couldn't do that working for someone else. I can't openly talk about the gospel working for someone else. And like I said, I am so grateful for the growth and um, the amazing people that I've had the opportunity to work with. You're all incredible people. One thing I will say, so this was my Bible. Um, uh, from St. Paul's in Menominee, Wisconsin. So Pastor Schleiss gave this to me. This was, you know, not my first Bible, but this was one that was gifted to me when I found my way. Um, again, I have several Bibles, but I also like to take notes in them. Uh, a caveat of that as well is this is a great book. As you can see, it's pretty broken and battered. Um, I got this in high school from my dad. I took this with me everywhere. Again, keep guard of your mind and keep the negative stuff out. Don't sweat the small stuff. It's truly all small stuff, right? Our inbox will never be full. It doesn't matter how much you work, you are still going to have things to do the next day. But as we know in the Bible, tomorrow's not promised. So this was a very long tangential video, but um, this is a good one. Become a less aggressive driver. What I love about this is the fact that some people will allow a situation happen, you know, on their way to the office in the morning and all of a sudden everything is just derailed by the rest of the day uh, due to this one, you know, someone cut you off and you just feel like it's just the worst day ever. In, In perspective, keep in mind, we've all been in a hurry. Think about this. If that person was in such a hurry that they cut you off, maybe they have an accident that they're trying to get to. Maybe something happened in their personal life that they have to speed to get to their destination. Maybe they have a child in the back seat that's sick. You, you just don't know, right? It's like how we don't know what God's doing behind the scenes. So I just, again, breathe, let it go. Uh, say, God bless my day. God bless this driver. God bless my anger. God bless my business. God bless my friends. God bless my enemies. God bless those that need you most right now that can't hear you, can't see you, can't feel you because God is always with us. And I feel very emotional saying that because I know that he is with us. So as always, um, I have a, you know, a series I'm starting, Nutrition with Wendy, um, Wake Up with Wendy. It's going to be saved in the archives on my videos. So go ahead and I will share this video again. As always, it's very vulnerable. So 
Um, I'm really just trying to inspire people because there's a lot of negativity out there. And I think people need to be more vocal about their faith. They need to have the courage to do so. And it hasn't been easy for me. I've been ripped down by some people and they thought, or they'll say, you know, oh, what a joke, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I don't work for you. Uh, your opinion does not create any sort of value within my life, right? So unless you are my client or you are somebody that, you know, is within my cohort, you know, my worship group, whatever, your opinion means very little to me. Uh, I don't ask the living how to live. I ask Jesus how to live. So if that's problematic for you, then that says a lot more about what you have going on in your life. Just like another thing as I mentor my uh, young female uh, groups that I work with too, that again, we cannot please both you know, people, money, and God, right? We have to pick. So always be, pe- be pleasing of God. And, and what does God want of your life, right? Um, that's really important, especially in today's world. So it's not about getting all the likes on social media, Facebook. It's about what pleases God. If what you're doing today, right, doesn't please God, then that's something that maybe you're feeling a little indifferent about. Maybe you're feeling a little anxiety with. So as a Christian, I can definitely say you start to feel that anxiety if you're not doing what God calls you to do, right? And just making sure that you always take that time to pray for him or pray for your life, right? And for other people. Um, And again, just don't be focused on what everybody else is saying because society, again, it's broken. Um, We live in a very fallen world world. So again, ask Jesus how to live. Do not ask the people, right? The flesh how to live. Cause again, we are sinful, myself included. We have to ask for forgiveness each and every day. And I just think that there's something really magical about being vulnerable with God. I mean, he knows what's in that closet. We all have a closet where we just shove everything in, right? When someone's coming over, he knows what's in that closet. So feel free to just pull it all out and you know what? Go through it with him. Sort through those items when you're ready and say, God, I want to let go of this and go donate it, right? Go get rid of it. Um, It's a really liberating feeling to just say, yeah, God, you know my heart, you know my sin, you know what's on my mind. Um, Help me work through these things, whatever that is, or hire a coach, right? And seek counsel. Um, Seek people within your worship group, your community, go to church, find a local uh, group. Also, you know, if you're looking for support in any area of your life, whether that be finances, health and wellness, nutrition, um, fitness, and exercise. So have a very blessed day. And if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out per usual, but I'm very grateful for all of you and your following and um, look for more content as I continue on. But this is day three of Wake Up With Wendy. So hoping to make something out of this series and you guys all have a very blessed day.